Under federal law, marijuana is illegal, like heroin and cocaine. And yet the Biden administration is unwilling to prosecute marijuana laws against people who have violated them. Why? Apparently because these are victimless crimes that are only problematic because they are prohibited. There's nothing evil about marijuana. Well, if this is the position of the Biden administration, then why is this not also the position of the Biden administration and all anti-gunners when it comes to assault weapon bans, which also are victimless crimes? Let's talk about this in one second. Hey folks, I'm Mark Smith, host of the Four Boxes Donner, best-selling author, proud American gun owner, member of the United States Supreme Court Bar, and a constitutional attorney. If you haven't subscribed to the Four Boxes Diner Second Amendment channel, please do so and show your love for the right to keep and bear arms and spread the word of this video by sharing it widely. We'd appreciate it. Okay, now I'm going to pat myself a little bit on the back on this video. I'm disclosing it right up front. That's because I'm going to talk about a major article I wrote that was quoted by Judge Benitez in the Miller versus Bonta case in 2021, which found that the so-called assault weapon ban in California was unconstitutional under the Second Amendment. But I'm not just going to talk about myself in this video. I want to teach you something very important. This is extremely important what I'm going to teach you because this is the sort of lesson I'm going to give you today that's going to make you the smartest person in the room when you talk about the Second Amendment. And that's my goal, to make you all the smartest people. And how am I going to do that today? I'm going to teach you the difference between two Latin legal phrases, between malum prohibitum and malum in se. And you're like, Mark, Mark, why do I need to know this? What are you talking about? What is this Latin stuff? This is extremely important because although I'm using Latin words because it's legal, it's very simple and easy to understand and really helps crystallize why assault weapon bans are so-called assault weapon bans, of course, propaganda term, we know that, are simply stupid. Here's why. So let's begin. Joe Biden does not want to enforce federal marijuana prohibition laws on the grounds basically that they're no big deal. People want to use pot, so be it. We don't care. No victim. It's their body. BFD. Right? That's really what the Biden administration says when it comes to marijuana. So you have people making marijuana and growing marijuana and selling marijuana. Nothing happens to them. The Biden administration doesn't care. Okay, fine. I don't care what you think about marijuana, good, bad, ugly. That's not the point of this video. But here's the point of the video that I want you to understand in the Second Amendment community. So too, that to the extent you want to say marijuana, or using marijuana is a victimless crime, it is a type of crime that we call in the law malum prohibitum. That's M-A-L-U-M prohibitum, which means prohibition. Now, what does malum prohibitum mean? Malum prohibitum means that something is a crime simply because we say it is. Now, what is in contrast to malum prohibitum? It is a more prominent doctrine called malum in se. Now, what is malum in se? M-A-L-U-M. I-N-S-E. Malum in se means, in Latin, it is used to refer to something that is simply wrong and evil in itself. There's something inherently wrong with the behavior, and that's why it's a crime. I'll give you an example. Malum in se crimes include murder. Killing is just inherently wrong, except in self-defense. Rape. Robbery. Fraud, theft, assault, battery. These are malum in se crimes. There is a victim who is being raped, who is being murdered, who is being beaten up, who is losing their property. These are violations of the most fundamental notion of being a human. And that's why in Latin, in the law, we call these 
fundamental crimes that everyone kind of understands are wrong in their very nature, malum in se. Now, the, the other one, again, is malum prohibitum, which is just something is wrong because we say so. It's a crime because we say so. Now, the Biden administration basically says that they don't think you know, there's any victims involving with marijuana prohibition laws. So it's just malum prohibitum. We're not going to enforce it. But here's the thing. Malum prohibitum is exactly what so-called assault weapon bans of AR-15s and AK-47 style firearms are. There's no victims when you ban these guns. They're malum prohibitum laws. There's nothing inherently evil about having a firearm. These are crimes because anti-gun politicians just declare them to be crimes. Now, this was a point that the very well-known, many of you call him Saint Judge Benitez in California, talked about when he concluded in 2021 that the so-called assault weapon ban in California was unconstitutional under the Second Amendment. Now, was there anybody that Judge Benitez quoted or relied upon in reaching this conclusion. Hmm. Oh yeah, that would be me, I'm happy to say. Specifically, what Judge Benitez wrote in his opinion, which I'll put a link to down below, is he made the observation that under California law, you know, selling or offering, uh, lending assault weapons, all these sorts of things could land you in jail for, you know, four six, eight years in some instances, and turn you into a felon. Now, in the context of pointing this out, of how extreme these, these criminal penalties were in California for having assault weapons and doing things with assault weapons in the state, Judge Benitez went on to say that these were indeed malum prohibitum laws, not malum in se, inherently evil, Right? He said these assault with men were malum prohibitum laws, meaning they were just declared to be wrong with no basis in morality or e evil or good or anything. It's just it's what the legislature said. So after Judge Benitez points out that these so-called assault with men are malum prohibitum laws and not malum in se, because there's nothing evil about having these weapons. It's just something California leg lawmakers don't want you to have. Okay? This is how, this is what Judge Benitez said when he quotes Mark Smith, me, from an article I wrote in the Harvard Journal of Law and Public Policy, one of the Harvard journals uh, dealing with law issues and scholarship. Judge Benitez wrote that, quoting me, mere possession of an object that is commonplace and perfectly legal under federal law and in 44 states will land you in prison, will result in your loss of rights, including likely the right to vote, and probably will cause you irreparable monetary and reputational damages, as well as your personal liberty. All of this despite the absence of a single victim. Close quote. Now, my point when I wrote this in the Harvard Journal, and when Judge Benitez's point when he relied on my argument was exactly that. These so-called assault weapon bans have no victims. For you to have a gun in the back of your closet that doesn't meet the configuration that California lawmakers want you to have or like you to have, or that Nancy Pelosi's house like you or want you to have, somehow will get you thrown in jail for years and turn you into a felon and lose all these your civil rights and civil liberties, and maybe even your freedom and your family and your money. All because of Malum prohibitum laws, having nothing to do with moral component. There's no com moral component to having these guns or not having these guns. These don't compare to murder laws, rape laws, to burglary laws, to felony, to, to any of these violent crime laws or theft or, or, or fraud or any of this stuff for burglary or robbery. And this is exactly why Judge Benitez one of the reasons why he concluded that the malum prohibitum assault weapon ban in California was unconstitutional under the Second Amendment. The absurdity, especially now that we know that the Biden administration is unwilling to enforce malum prohibitum laws on pot, marijuana use and possession in America, 
Now, that may be a good idea, maybe a bad idea. It's, I'm not about that in this video. But the fact is that the Biden administration says, hey, it's a victimless crime, leave them alone. And yet when it comes to so-called semi-automatic rifles that we all own, the most basic commonly owned firearms or commonly owned rifles in America, the Biden administration, despite the fact there's no victims associated with lawfully owning these things, guess what? They want to ban these things through malum prohibitum laws where there's no basis in morality, good or evil, or anything inherent about this. It's just because the anti-gunners and their lawmakers uh, in the state and the federal legislatures that they're friendly with simply don't like them. And frankly, that is not a good enough excuse to ban these things. And anyway, it's a practical matter. It's unconstitutional under the Second Amendment, thanks to the most recent decision on my Serpa versus Bruin and the decisions before that going all the way back to Heller versus the District of Columbia. Okay, I hope you learned a little bit something today about malum in se versus malum prohibitum. Uh, make sure you use this going forward because all these gun laws are really malum prohibitum laws. And again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. And again, we'll see you again soon here at the Four Boxes Diner. Orders up, table 2A.